Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Professor Gigawatt, and today you're about to travel into the world of circuitry. And I will need three things from you. Number one, I will need your undivided attention at all times. The second thing I will need is I will need for you to use your scientific imaginations. And number three, I will need your hypothesis. What is a hypothesis? Oh yeah, that's correct. It's an educated guess. Well, if a hypothesis is an educated guess, what's an educated guess? And don't say hypothesis and try to trick me. Good, good, good. So a hypothesis is, is an educated guess, and an educated guess is simply a guess based off what you already know. So today we're going to talk about circuits. But before any circuit in the entire universe can truly become a circuit, it has to have four things. Number one. You have to have a source. So wherever your energy comes from is called a power source. The second thing is, it's called a path. So wherever electricity flows through easily is your path. Number three, it's gonna be like a light bulb, Xbox, PlayStation, and in your science books, it's actually called a receiver. But to me, it's called something else. So I'm gonna use your scientific imagination on this one. Let's say today is Friday, and for me, when I get home today, I have to do a blank of laundry. You got it, you got it, it's a load. So whatever electricity flows through to make work is your load. Now, the fourth thing you guys may not know, so I'm gonna use your scientific imaginations. If I go out the door, down the hall, past the office, out into the parking lot, and I stop, I turn around, come back across the parking lot, back past the office, down the hall, back into this room, I have just re what? Not retrace, not restep, not repeat, that's correct, I have just returned. So before any circuit in the entire universe can truly become a circuit, it has to have a source, a path, a load, and a return. You are absolutely correct. Now, today we're going to build three circuits. Okay, the first circuit will be a simple circuit. Yes, a simple circuit. So if somebody asks me, hey, Professor Gigawatt, what's the definition of a simple circuit? I will tell them a simple circuit is a circuit having one source, one path, and one load. One source, one path, and one load. You have your source, which is the battery here, okay? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the battery cap off the battery, okay? Also, you would need your path, which are your alligator clips. Put one here, and your second alligator clip here. And the third and final thing you will need will be your load. This right here, this light bulb, is your load. But before you connect these wires, I need your hypothesis. What do you think is going to happen once I connect these wires to the circuit board? Yes, that is correct. The light is going to come on. Now, will it be bright, dim, or flicker? Bright? Okay. So I'm say dim, okay? Well, I'm about to make my connection. Let's see what happens. Go ahead and connect one wire to this empty wire screw and connect your other wire to this empty wire screw and let's see what happens. Yes, it was bright. So for all of you that gave me your hypothesis saying that the light bulb would be bright, you are absolutely correct. So the next circuit I'm going to build is called a series circuit, a series circuit. So if somebody asks me, hey, Professor Gigawatt, what's the definition of a series circuit? I will tell them a series circuit is a circuit having one source, one path, and more than one load. One source, one path, and more than one load. Speaking of load, you know, with this particular circuit, you have your path here, which is a double S on my circuit board, as you can see. You have your five loads, which are the light bulbs. And then before you connect here on this empty wire screw and here on this empty wire screw, but before I make my connection, what is your hypothesis? What's gonna happen with the light bulbs? They're gonna come on. Okay, will they be bright, dim, or flicker? You say bright, you say dim, okay. Flicker, okay, well, let's see. Go ahead, and I will go ahead and make my connections now. I'm gonna connect here and here. And as you can see, the light bulbs are very, very dim, aren't they? The reason why the light bulbs are dim is because they're having to share two things. The first thing they're having to share will be the source. The second thing they're having to share will be the path. 
Somebody do the math. You have a six volt battery and you have five light bulbs. How many volts is each light bulb receiving? That is correct. 1.2 or one and one fifth because you have five individual light bulbs, which are your loads. And that is our series circuit. Now, our third and final circuit that we're going to build today is called a parallel circuit. A parallel circuit. So if somebody asks me, hey, Professor Gigawatt, what's the definition of a parallel circuit? I will tell them that a parallel circuit is a circuit having one source, more than one path, and more than one load. One source, more than one path, and more than one load. But before I make my connections, I will need your hypothesis. What do you think is going to happen once I make my connections? That's correct. The light bulbs will light up. But will they be bright, dim, or flicker? You say bright, dim, OK. I knew there was going to be a flicker in there. OK, well, I'm going to go ahead and make my connections. And let's see what happens with the light bulbs. Ah, the light bulbs came on. They're kind of dim somewhat. So what do you think will happen if I unscrew the light bulb that is closest to me? What do you think will happen to the rest of the light bulbs? OK, let's see. I'm going to unscrew that one all the way out. So the rest of the light bulbs got brighter, didn't they? So what do you think is going to happen if I unscrew the light bulb that's farthest away from me? OK, let's see. The rest of the light bulbs got even brighter. I'm going to unscrew the center light bulb. And now those light bulbs are even brighter. And I'm going to unscrew the light bulb that is closest to me. Yeah, now you see how bright that light bulb is? And it's going through all of these paths to make that connection work for the parallel circuit. Now I'm going to go ahead and unscrew my final light bulb. And that is my parallel circuit for today. Well, that will complete out my presentation about circuits. Remember, you built a simple circuit, a series circuit, and a parallel circuit. This is your simple circuit, which has one source, one path, and one load. Your series circuit, which has one source, one path, and more than one load. And your parallel circuit, which has one source, more than one path, and more than one load. And thank you for coming to Professor Gigawatt's laboratory and building those circuits with me. You can also build your own virtual circuits by clicking on the link below.